Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have 50 big money bolos coming your way. These are items that sold for $100 or more. Um, I believe the highest one sold for $550. In this video, I am gonna feature a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. It is your lucky day because she is a big money bolo finder and you guys, woo, are gonna learn so much. All right, let me get my screen share her screen share up here and here is her youtube channel and she goes by mindful recycle her name is terry she is absolutely amazing her channel is awesome she's starting to put out some consistent um content again she took a little break for a while but you guys she's a bolo finder definitely go sub her up i will have her linked down in the description her eBay store is also Mindful Recycle, so you can check her out over there as well. Those links will both be in the description of the video. So let's get started with these big money bolos. The first item is this Richway Biomat Mini Mat. I am not even sure what this is. It says amethyst and tourmaline, 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 I think it's tourmaline, infrared and negative ions. What on earth? So it I, they're gemstones or something. I or Maybe it's a testing kit. Does anybody have any idea what this is? Let's see. Oh, aches, pains, um, arthritis, anti-inflammatory. Take along for trips to keep at the office to share with a friend or a family member who would benefit from using this therapeutic device. Huh. Med spa, dental, office chairs. Never heard of such a thing. Anyhow, do you want to know where she got it and what she paid for it? I do. She got this at an estate sale. She did pay up for it. She paid $150 for it and she flipped it for $550. So that is amazing. The next item is this Sony Japan Stereo Headphone Studio Monitor for Digital. Um, let's see. She finds amazing stuff. It looks like they're, are they headphones? They're just headphones but they're fancy headphones. She picked these up at an estate sale and she paid $41 for them and they sold for $250. The next item is this Ertl Toy Farmer Big Bud Tractor Diecast. And it is, let's see if I can get you a better picture here. This is what it looks like. And she got this at an estate sale. Now she does pay up for her items, but she is very, very knowledgeable. And I'm guessing she looks things up because she's willing to pay up to make big money. So she paid $82.50 for this, but she sold it for $350. So that is an excellent return on her money. And it's big bud. This Talking Woody Toy Story pull, pull string Thinkway toys from 1995, still new in the original box. This one came from an estate sale. She paid $10 for it and it sold for $249 plus shipping. All right here, the next item is this Bratz back to school doll. So she picked up a whole bunch of these at a sale. I can't remember if it was an estate sale. Let me see here. Yep, it was an estate sale. She paid $10 each for all of them. And so each one was $10. I can't remember how many she got. I wanna say like 30-ish. Not all of them went for crazy money like this, but a lot of them sold for very high prices. She found a really good lot. This one sold for $375 and she paid 10 for it. So I think there were two of these and I might've grabbed the wrong one because I think the first person didn't pay. So it says here in my notes that it sold for 375 plus shipping. So back to school brats. The next item is this digital price computing scale. She got this at, oh, it was, um, she said she had a coffee shop for a while. I think she owned a coffee shop and this was one of her personal items and she sold this for $125 plus shipping. So um, it's some fancy scale. The next item is another Bratz doll. This one is called Night Out Co Collection. Again, it was $10 and she sold this one for $297 plus shipping. 
So these are from 2004. These are the older Bratz dolls, more like, I think that's, I, I want to say Bratz started in 2001, but don't quote me on that. So these are more of the original ones and they're still a new old stock. So that really helps bring the value up. Not sure why that's doing that. I apologize for that. Um, Spectrum Smart Dual Battery Charger. So this one came, um, she bought out a Hobby Lobby. Oh no, I'm sorry. Not a Hobby Lobby, a Hobby Shop. So she bought out the entire shop, it looks like. And it says they it was closing and retiring. Paid $30 and sold it for $259.97. And the buyer paid shipping. So um, I'm guessing the shop owner was retiring and they were closing up the shop. All right. This one is a locomotive. Um, Atherin, Atherin, A-T-H-E-A-R-N is the brand. And it's a diesel locomotive and it is vintage. She got this at an estate sale. She paid $15 for it and it sold for a best offer of $199 plus shipping. The next item here is this Musen Portable FM Radio Bluetooth Speaker Retro Modern Case with Instructions. Um, that is cool. I have no idea if it's, I'm guessing it's modern, but it has a really cool look to it. And she got this at an estate sale. She paid $8 for it and it sold for $129 plus shipping. This is what she is known for. Um, she has sent me so many of these that she has sold and she finds them. I guess they're kind of native to her um, area. They're the glassy baby. If you guys do not know about these, definitely be on the lookout. Again, I think they're more common in certain areas. A lot of times they have this barcode on the bottom, but I believe they also actually have Glassy Baby printed. It's hard to see, but I think it's etched into the bottom, but don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure. Let me see if there's another photo here. Nope. Okay. So this one is a snow globe look and they're all handmade. So they're all um, have an original look to them. Let me see if she put anything. No. Okay. This one came from the Goodwill. She paid $2.99 for it and it sold for $150 best offer plus shipping. So um, she went ahead and took a best offer. She could have held out for more on this, but you know, sometimes a quick flip is better than waiting. Um, for the long tail, you know, huge lot of 80 plus HO scale track pieces. And she got this at an estate sale. She paid $60 for it and it sold for $217 plus shipping. So let me know in the comments, you guys, what you think about how she sources. Would you be willing to pay up if you knew you were going to make those type of margins or do you prefer to source cheaper? All right, you guys, I love these. These are Sears cotton briefs, three pack. And there's two packages here. She got these at an estate sale, paid $4 for them and took a best offer of $70 plus shipping. So these old vintage briefs can definitely be a bolo. These are Sears brand. So um, she did take a best offer. She came down quite a bit on that, but still $70 for some vintage briefs. Amazing. The next item is, oh, and that one, because it was best offer, that may have taken us under $100. Oopsie. Sorry, guys. All right. This Fitz and Floyd Old World Rabbit centerpiece. It's a retired Easter bunny. How cool is he? She paid $45 for him at an estate sale, and he sold for $199 plus shipping. The next item is this Olympia typewriter, and it's vintage, and it is in working condition. She got this at a garage sale. She paid $15 for it and it sold for $197 plus shipping. So these items are heavy also and big and bulky. So hard to ship and shipping is typically expensive. The next item is another big item. It's Wagner Ware. It's a roaster Magnolite oval with trivet and lid. And you can see here, this is what it comes with. And it looks to be in really nice condition. This sold for $191.50 on auction. And she paid $32.50 for it at an estate sale. 
The next item here she sold is this Department 56 Christmas in the City Lenox China Shop. Um, artist signed. So, wow, she found an artist signed. That is amazing. And this one she paid 20 bucks at an estate sale and she sold it for a best offer of $150 plus shipping. The next item is a Mr. Christmas Winter Wonder Waterland Wonderland Fountain Boats and Figures from 1996. And she got this at an estate sale for $30 and she sold it for $197 plus shipping. Broadway Limited, Bachman and Scale. So it looks like these are more trains, the passenger train set, it says. Got it at the hobby shop that she bought out. She paid $20 for it and sold it for a best offer of $160 plus shipping. This item here is another Bratz. This is the Prom doll. And it's Formal Funk Chloe. And this one sold for $155.50 on auction. And the buyer paid shipping. And she paid $10 for that one as well. All right. This one came from that hobby shop she bought out. She paid about $35 for all of this paint. And it sold on auction for $151.50. They are Bottles Testers Model Master Acrylic Paints. Half ounce each, it looks like. So very cool. The next item is this Unimax Forces of Valor, Valor a German Elfont uh, tank destroyer made in Italy, it looks like. And this one she got from an estate sale. She paid $20 for it and it sold for $147.97 plus shipping. The next item is this Fitz and Floyd uh, Woodland Spring Rabbit Deer Cookie Jar. Um, it's a bunny uh, canister centerpiece. And this one came from an estate sale. She paid $12 and it sold for $147.97 plus shipping. The next item here is this sterling silver Franklin Mint Baylor University Plate 24 karat gold inlay limited edition. Um, unfortunately, this one was canceled and I did pick up, um, I picked another one, a backup one. But this did sell, but they just didn't pay. So still something to be on the lookout for. The next item is this Department 56 Universal Studios Monsters Dracula's Castle. And she got this at an estate sale for $10 and sold it for $145.97 plus shipping. And she does have another one available. So if anybody's looking for it, it's available in her store. Unless it sold between the time she gave me this info. All right, the next item is this Panasonic Compact Plain Paper Fax and Copier Telephone System, new in the box. She got this at an estate sale for $15 and took a best offer of $100 plus shipping. This is a vintage 2000 Disney Magic Kingdom playset Mattel Polly Pocket Dumbo Princess. And it's got all the little characters. How cute is this? Now, let's see what she says here. Garage sale paid $15, took a best offer of $99 on that, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Western Stampin' Barbie dolls from 1993. You got Ken and Tara Lynn and Lynn. And looks like they're from the same series there. Garage sale, 20 bucks, and sold them for $129 plus shipping. The next item are Briarberry, huge lot of Fisher Price bears, furniture, kitchen, bedroom, and living room. And um, I believe I just sold this table not too long ago. So I do pick up this brand when I see it. It's it's kind of a long tail item, but it does sell. She got all of this for $30 at an estate sale and sold it for $129 plus shipping. The next item is this UGO. Um, Pet Dragon, Prismic Secret. I don't know. It's a trading card. And she has a way that she looks up cards. And I asked her for the app. It is called T as in Tom, C as in Courtney, G as in Garden, and Player. So TCG Player is the app. And she said you can look up um, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards and it will tell you the value with that app. So that is something that I am definitely going to get on my phone because I found um, some of these Yu-Gi-Oh, I hope I'm saying that right, 
cards the other day and I kind of want to check them out. I'm afraid that I'm going to have one that's worth $150 like this. So um, I was thinking about just selling them as a lot, but I really feel like I need to take a minute and look them up. So auction style 15004 buyer paid shipping on that one. And she got that at a garage sale for a dollar, one dollar. All right, the next one here is this Fitz and Floyd Gooseberry Lane truck cookie jar from 1994. And she got this, um, oh, she said it got broken and she had to refund their money. And I told her I still wanted to talk about it because um, it's still sold for $125. And that's really what I want you guys to see. Um, unfortunately, things do happen sometimes. So it looks like it sold for $125 plus shipping. I'm guessing she got it at an estate sale. And I'm not sure what she paid for that one. The next item is this Ralph Lauren Paisley Comforter. It's blue and white. As it is a king size. And I love how she has this on the bed. It just looks stunning. Um, let's see. Estate sale. Paid $10 and it sold for a best offer of $99 plus shipping. The next item is this Hobby Master Super Sabra. It looks like it's some sort of maybe model kit. And this one came from estate sale. She paid $25 for it and sold it for $124.97 plus shipping. The next item here is this a lot of vintage Cabbage Patch Kids doll clothes. 25 pieces total. Got it an estate sale for $15 and took a best offer of $75 plus shipping. The next item is this Spectrum Transmitter. And I'm guessing this came from... Yep, the Hobby Shop buyout paid $15 and sold it for $122 plus shipping. And it looks like she has sold two of those. The next item is this Toshiba Recorder. And it's got the remote DVD and cables. And she got this at an estate sale for $9 and sold it for $112.49. So one thing that I have noticed about the things she sells is they are a pain to ship. Not things I would want to ship. And things that I shy away from because of that. And it just shows me that I'm missing out probably on tons of money because um, I don't like to ship breakables and big things. All right, this Fitz and Floyd. Estate sale, $10, sold for $105 plus shipping. This, again, is another Old World Rabbits. I'm guessing she got all of these at the same estate sale. Very cool items, and it looks like they sell very well. Here's another Bratz doll, live in concert. Uh, Chloe. And she's new in the box as well. Estate sale, $10 and sold her for $100 bucks plus shipping. All right, this next item here is this um, lot of 12 Johnny Lightning Monopoly diecast cars. And she got them at an estate sale for $36 and took a best offer of $70 plus shipping. So we're just a little shy of $100 on that with shipping. Sears Vintage Cotton Briefs. All right. Paid $4 for those and sold best offer for $40. And she got those at an estate sale. So that one's definitely under $100. So I apologize, I apologize, you guys. I didn't think to go in and double check if she took best offers on things. But I'm going to say like 45 of these sold for 100 or more. How about that? Practical bench work for four horologists. Don't know what that is. Is that somebody who I'm not even going to guess? I'm not even going to guess because I feel confident in what I'm going to say, but it's probably totally wrong. All right, let's see. Um, a state sale paid $4 and sold it for $99.97 plus shipping. Oh, this one ended since the last time. I was too late to do the video. Uh, it um, overlapped because they only hold your listings for so many days. So I can only see them for so many days. Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe, set of four plates. Uh, state sale, $22 and sold these for $99 plus shipping. The next item here are these vintage 26 Time Life book set, the Old West books from 1980. And she paid 20 at an estate sale for these and sold them for 97 plus shipping. Age of Renaissance, Civilization in the Middle Ages, Avalon Hill, Unpunched, 1996. Um, I'm thinking this is a game. 
maybe not. Yeah, I think it's a game. Unpunched means that everything's still like on the cardboard, like that you punch out. All right. Paid five bucks at a garage sale and sold it for $89.99 plus shipping. Vintage footed cast iron pentagram good luck horseshoe plus heart pattern trivet. Garage sale paid 65 cents and sold it for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. And another one ended. I just reached out to her today. I just double checked all of these. So these have all ended within, you know, the last few hours here. All right. Sunset Stitchery Christmas Memories Crew. Oh, okay. I just said this wrong in a video and somebody said it's cruel like it rhymes with school. So if that was you that told me that, thank you. Um, that's how I'm going to try to remember this. Cruel. So cruel completed and framed. And let's see. Christmas. Uh, estate sale. Paid $8. Sold for $79.97 plus shipping. These um, Ariat suede boots came from an estate sale, paid 15 and sold for 79 plus shipping. The next item is this Rolex vintage watch box. And this one came from an estate sale. She paid 50 cents for it and sold it for $99 plus shipping. Okay, the story of civilization. These are 11 volumes. And she got these at an estate sale for $22 and sold them for $149.97. So again, you guys, this is Terry from Mindful Recycle. Please go sub her up. She is amazing. She's a bolo finder, as you can all see. And eBay store is linked down below if you want to check her out and follow her there on eBay. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.